Recently, Fortnite fans have been abandoning one of the greatest maps or most played maps. Greatest map, I understand that's up for debate, but one of the most played maps in Discovery right now, the pit. Fortnite players are boycotting it. It's all over Twitter. People are actively saying to avoid this game and avoid the person who is making the map. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to take a look at a couple tweets. I would love to know what you guys think about it afterwards. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with many YouTube channels. Let's get started. So, I was scrolling through Twitter a little while ago, and I wanted to make a video about this. It's been a few days, actually, since, because... Of course, I wanted to talk about the update for Season 2, right? But I came across this tweet from Echo Builds, and this is really what kind of started it all and had me diving a little bit deeper into it. So, Echo had this to say, When you put time and effort into building a game that consistently entertains millions of people daily, you deserve to be making what you do. So much jealousy, some people really expect a million dollar handout from Epic because they made one map, put some work in, and you might get somewhere. And I saw this, and I was like, Oh yeah, that's entirely true. What's he talking about? Everybody who just wants a million dollars, typically, right? There's a lot of, don't get me wrong, guys. There is a lot of fantastic people in the creative community. There's a lot of fantastic people who make really, really great maps, but there is so much jealousy. I don't understand. You know what? I'll say this right now before we take a look at a couple more tweets because I will never understand this attitude. I did a little bit of digging through this, and I'm pretty sure this all started once Fortnite GG came out with the estimated earnings for people who make creative maps. I'm pretty sure that's where it started, but... It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I have always thought my entire life. I will never understand the people who just can't be happy for other people. I will never understand the people who are filled with such envy, such jealousy, and such hatred for people who do better than them. I will. I want to point you out to the creator of Only Up. Remember when people? He. It was estimated he made what six million dollars in a month, and I can't imagine how much he's made right now. People look at him and people say, well, he doesn't deserve that. And while he had the entire world playing only up, he had the entire world buying V-Bucks from playing this game. He had the entire world streamers, the most famous people playing his map. He drove so much traffic to Fortnite, almost as much as Battle Royale. It is crazy. And the fact that people just look at him and go, yeah, he doesn't deserve anything. Give him a couple hundred dollars. And why? Hey, I want him. And as you know, this is exactly what people are saying in their minds, right? They don't actually say this, but this is what they mean. He doesn't deserve $6 million because I want a cut of that for making one creative map. <laughs> that's, that's what people actually mean. That's a translation for you between instead of, oh, well. That's a little bit too much money to give to one person, don't you think? So it's crazy to me. I don't understand how people just can't be happy for other people. I always say this, like, if one of my best friends won the lottery, I'd be so happy for them. My brother, a little while ago, I, I pointed out back to this. I don't remember what I was talking about for another video, but a little while ago, my brother, he got a job that he made significantly more money than I did. I'm so happy for him. Why would I not be happy for him? Anybody, like anybody that's doing better than you. I don't understand why you have to automatically hate those people. So I did want to take a look at a few more of these tweets because I saw this. This is the, the first tweet from Echo Builds was the one that really made me start diving in a little bit. And Echo expanded on his first tweet here. Last part of post was referring to people complaining about how much others make and they don't. Meanwhile, they're sitting here on one map and the other person is making a lot. <laughs> the other person making a lot has been in this for five years, 20 plus maps later. Wanted to rephrase this because rereading it, it looks like I'm saying if you aren't making money, then you aren't putting in effort. I don't mean that at all. I didn't take that from the first part, but he offered clarity and I wanted to also have that there. And there was a reply to this, okay? And this is kind of what you're seeing around. A lot of these tweets kind of sound the same, so I did take it a little bit. I just want to use this as an example because, again, this is what you'll typically see. All these top tier maps are no effort. They were just lucky that they had the idea and were first to do so. Is deserved? Lucky. Lucky. Are they lucky or are they smart? I think smart. Yeah, it is so much money deserved for such a basic map. I don't think so. What's that matter, first of all? But Echo had a fantastic reply to it. Why does it matter what we think of the quality? Players enjoy it. Some players play Fortnite for it. Streamers get millions at sitting at a desk and entertaining millions of people. Why can't map creators? Surprisingly, a lot of top maps do take a lot of effort. Look how many updates have gone into some of them. It's hard to get to the top, but even harder to stay there. There's a lot that goes into creative and just the assets you see in a world. It is so true. It, the first day of the season, people are already editing these maps. The pit consistently brings in an insane amount of players. I play the pit. It's fun. And just because they weren't lucky, they weren't lucky. They update their map consistently, and they were the first ones to do so. Everybody's copying. Everybody's trying to write off the success of the pit. It's crazy to me. Yeah, you know what? There may have been a map before that, but it wasn't luck. People actively work on this map, continuously update it, always fix it, always improve it, always make it more fun. They bring in the players. They absolutely deserve the amount of money that they are making. Now, 
there is another tweet that I've seen a few of these around, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know anything about the creator of the pit. I don't know if he said anything controversial, it doesn't really matter, but I know that people are literally boycotting the pit because the pit creators are making so much money. Here's a tweet there for an example. Friendly reminder to boycott the pit because Gersey actually lets toxic people like this run his map. And if you expand these tweets, there's really no toxicity there. And I don't know anything about like, I didn't really dig into the profiles about them, but because you just know that people are hating on other people's success. It's absolutely ridiculous to me. Now, I thought about it's I'm having a little bit of a problem here because of course, Fortnite GG came out with all the estimated earnings for creative makers. I personally really don't like that that's publicly available. We don't know if it's entirely accurate. It probably is, and I did speak to a couple people who are there, and they said it's not accurate, but at the end of the day, can they might just be trying to sway people's opinions. I don't really know what to think about it. I just think it's... <laughs> I don't want to say disgusting, but like, it's private information that's being leaked out, right? I don't believe that deserves to be leaked out, so I was going to show it in the video, but I decided not to. I understand that it's easy to find, but I just don't want, I really don't want to play into leaking this information because I would be, I would hate it if that was me, to be honest with you. Now, I do want to bring you to one more tweet from Dumb Blonde Gaming. And honestly, <laughs> I don't know much about this girl, but every single, single time I see her show up on my FYP or applying to something, it's like saying something entirely accurate. So honestly, good for you, both Echo Builds and Dumb Blonde today. Really interesting to see the reactions of Fortnite GG having estimated earnings now. The best part is the earnings are not even close to what some people have earned. That's what I've been hearing a lot. People would absolutely lose their minds if it showed the real numbers. I guess I'm old school and I really hate talking about money. I think it's tacky and unprofessional. Having money numbers plastered everywhere is just going to hurt the community even more than it already has. That is exactly accurate. Nobody deserves to see how much money the pit's making. Nobody under nobody deserves to see how much money any map is making. Nobody deserves to know how much money anybody is making. That's private information, and we just... I think it's been, like, just the past few years that it's been okay to talk about this stuff. It's like, all of a sudden, now, everybody has their political opinions plastered everywhere. Everybody has all this information that was historically private and private for a reason. Now it's just everywhere, and I don't think it's okay, to be honest with you, because now you're going to have people who are filled with hate and jealousy and envy just absolutely dunking on somebody for being successful. I hate that. It's crazy to me. The people who made the pit, I don't know who they are, but I look up to them. I think that is awesome. One day, I want to make a creative map, and I can only hope to be as successful as them. And honestly, if I ever have the platform, I would love to reach out and take any advice I could possibly get from these people. How about, instead of hating on the creators of the pit, instead of hating on the creators of Only Up, instead of hating on any map that does better than your own map, take some advice to them. Reach out. Look what they did. See how you can apply it to your own map. Work hard to actually get your map to be successful. Yeah, you know what? And there, you see a common argument over here where it's like, oh, well, you need an influence. Get an influence. You, who, you, why do you deserve an influence? Why do you deserve people watching you? Why don't, why don't you... I, I think about it for a second. There's people like Cypher PK who make a map. Yeah, he uses his influence to get plays. What's wrong with that? He has advertising. He has a platform. What is wrong with that? Why do you deserve to have those people come to your map? Cypher PK worked hard to get to the point where he is in his life. And now he can actively influence people to go over to the map. And people wouldn't play it if it wasn't fun. People wouldn't play it. It's just a little bit of a boost he has because of all the hard work he's put into his life. I don't understand how everybody can just be so filled with hate, so filled with jealousy. Look at these creators. Look at the opportunity. Instead of looking at this as, oh my god, I deserve a chunk of that money. Look at it as an opportunity. Look how much money some of these people are making. Come up with your own idea, or if you have an idea of the pit, do it better. Do it better, constantly work hard, grow an influence, maybe go on Twitter, start a YouTube channel, do whatever you can to get to the top. This is a huge opportunity. This shouldn't be something that you are looking at with hate in your eyes. This should be something like, oh my god, there is so much money to be made. I really, really want to be part of that. Instead of actively hitting someone, how would you feel, by the way? You work your ass off to constantly get one of the biggest creative maps out there. You work so hard, sleepless nights, constantly thinking about it. Spending, I don't know, months, years of your life to get to your map, to get to the top. And then once you're at the top... Your money, the money you've made has just been plastered online. People are seeing it and going, hey, he does not deserve that. He doesn't deserve that much money. And then you're sitting here like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? You have no idea how hard it worked. Nobody knows how hard these pit map makers work. Nobody knows. Only them. And it's probably so much harder than we think it is instead of, oh, it's just a lazy map. It's just a lazy map where you put some weapons in and let people fight. I see how, many, how often these guys are updating it. I see that. 
the amount of work, it's like a full-time job covering some of these maps. Take Dagwami's map, for example. They're constantly listening to feedback, constantly updating new box fight mini games for you to play. And I love playing it for that reason. One of the best maps ever. They continuously update it. They listen to the people who don't like certain games. They take it out. They add new fun games. These things aren't just, here's a map, push it out. You know what? I have influence. There you go. <laughs> play my map. It's not. Look, guys, at the end of the day, if you're not getting the money that you want, improve yourself. It's that simple. You don't need to look at the look at these map creators and just hate on them for it. So what? They had an idea before you. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. It's not the most original idea, but they did it first and they did it the best. You can do it better. Come up with a brand new idea instead of constantly looking at other people and just hating them. Just uh, could you imagine out there? Just imagine like you have a, you, a lot of people watching this probably have a job, right? Imagine some guy who's homeless just going, hey, he doesn't deserve that money that he's making. He should give me some. Uh, you hear that, everybody? Give me some of his money. Like, that's exactly what people are doing. It doesn't make sense to me how anybody can be in that mindset. I understand being envious, but to start being really, really jealous and really hating the people on top is crazy to me. Learn something from them. If nobody's playing your map, there's a reason for it. Yeah, you know what? Your map could be perfect. Get some influence. Get the word out there. Find a way to get the word out there. It's not hard nowadays to go viral. You just keep pumping out the videos, keep pumping out TikToks about your map. Hey, you know what? Maybe one will catch the algorithm. If people want to play it, they will come play it. Keep working, grow an influence, do whatever you can to get your map out there because there is so much money to be made through it instead of sitting here and just hating the people on the top. Again, imagine if you were in that spot. Imagine if you were in that spot. And I really, again, I hate the fact that people's earnings are being put up there because like Don Blonde said, it is just so unprofessional, and I believe she used the word tacky. <laughs> Regardless, it's not okay, man. There's so much out there. Like, nobody's lives are private anymore, which sucks, but what can you do? Guys, let me know what you thought about this whole situation down below. Thank you so much for watching. Echo Builds and Dumblon, thank you very much for bringing reasoning into this community on the screen right now. If you want to check out another drama video, check it out right here. I will see you either there or in the next video, everybody. Take care.